These books will make you suspect the true identity of your friends and family. Hello, fellow bookquesters! It is I, Aaron the Bookquester. Today I have these two books, Warriors the Broken Coat, book one and two. This one is The Silent Thought, which is book two. This book is book one, Lost Stars, which is book one. Well, let's get right on to it. Well, first of all, I'll tell you what to expect. These books were much better than the last series by Aaron Hunter. The Vision of Shadows. Since video, The Vision of Shadows was not as good as the first four series up on my bookshelf, Mostly because these three seasons all build up to the final battle against the evil Dark Forest Cats in The Last Hope, book 6 of the Sea Warriors, Domain of the Stars. It was absolutely epic and everyone enjoyed it. But the next uh, Vision of Shadows, the, the bad guy was like, nah, pie everything and it wasn't as good but the broken code totally broke through my expectations why because it was one of the best books that i ever read well if we go on book one lost stars a leaf bear is coming which is basically winter and strange evil things are happening Shadow Paw, who is now a new Shadow Clan medicine cat apprentice. She sees visions. And I saw air in the very second I read the vision that our dear Shadow Paw got. I knew that this vision wasn't from Star Clan or anyone good, let's say. Meanwhile, more strange things are happening. Shadow Paw's vision is about code breakers, cats who had who has broken the warrior code at least once. We don't know what's happening yet, but you will soon. Because Bramble Star falls very gravely ill, and his and our dear Shadow Paw's visions tell him to take Bramble Star, freeze him, and take him as close to death as possible then that would heal his sickness. Very scary if you know what I mean. But if we continue on, that actually healed Ramble Star, the little treatment that Shadow Paw told everyone to give to Ramble Star. But Ramble Star wasn't himself after the little occasion. And meanwhile, something is something, uh, some entity seems to be threatening the five clans. Well, that's how the book ends. And it, the book ends with a cliffhanger. Because, uh, normal, normal Sky Clan, Sky Clan Tom, a uh, boy cat, who is named Suitpaw, who is in Sky Clan, finds out, sees the ghost of Bramble Storm. But how is that possible? I mean, Suitpot is the son of Tree, who is the meditator who can see ghosts, and Suitpot may as well have inherited his father's powers. But how come he's the only one who can see this Bramble Star? And how is that possible? Bramble Star is alive and well, but he seems to be a little weird, cruel, and seems to enjoy people and cats suffering. That's how the book one ends, and if we continue on to book two. This book is The Silent Thaw, and it's actually spanking hot new, and it only came out two months prior to the moment that I am uploading this video. Absolutely epic in fact. Now, now, now. Bramble Star is still behaving oddly, and Suitpaw talks to Bramble Star's ghost. And Bramble Star's ghost says this. I don't know 
who is the cat that's inside me, inside my body, but he's not me. And it's very, very chilly and scary. And well, it makes you suspect who really is Bramble Star after all. And Suit Paw manages to convince Squirrel Flight, Bramble Star's mate, who knows in her heart that Bramble Star is not Bramble Star. Meanwhile, Shadow Sight, Shadow Paw, who has now become Shadow Sight, a full on Shadow Clan medicine cat, finds out that his visions are not from Star Clan, and that his visions are from a cat. But not that's not necessarily good. Meanwhile, Bramble Star is behaving even more strangely, and he has, seems to be pushing that the fact that all code breakers must repent. It is very, very scary in my opinion, and since this has never happened before, even though many, many cats have gone through the warrior code, but still went into Star Clan, it didn't make any sense. Or did it? Meanwhile, our dear Shadow Paw, I mean Shadow Sight's vision about the code breakers, and Bramble Star's pushing for all code breakers to be punished. Well, it seems to match, doesn't it? And Bramble Star has been acting strangely. Plus, our dear Suit Pop knows that that Bramble Star isn't Bramble Star. And Suit Pop managed to convince a couple of the cats from all five clans, little by little, that Bramble Star is not Bramble Star. And finally, at in Shadow Clan, there. Suit Paw manages to summon the ghost of Bramble Star so that other normal cats can see Bramble Star. And they are convinced. And Tiger Star, the noble leader of Shadow Clan, well, not the first Tiger Star, obviously. He's Dark Forest Cat, dead now, and so on, etc. And right now, it's, mm, mm, it's not gonna be good. And we are still fighting. And now, I'll go on to the thoughts of who is the evil cat who has taken over Bramble Star's body and has stopped all connections of Star Clan. Star Clan has not been speaking since the Lee Cold Leaf Fair and the freezing of the Moon Pool. Very weird. And then that's why this book is called Lost Stars, because Star Clan is lost and it is not speaking or communicating in any way to the warrior clans. And as we continue on, I think that the one who has been possessing Bramble Star and st blotting out the stars, I personally think that it might be one of the Dark Forest Cats. And the uh, warriors, the omen of the stars, and the last hope, the warrior cats, the tribe, the ancient tribes, and our dear star clan fights against the dark forest cats. Cats who have, who have, who were very evil in their life and has been killed, who had died, who have not, who hadn't been able to go to star clan. They had gone to dark evil place called the dark forest. And these cats had fought against the, against clans. And well, the clans won this battle. And I think that maybe one of the Dark Forest cats, since there are thousands of them, maybe one of them thought that this way it's not working. Fighting the Star Clan, the Warrior Clans, and the tribe at once, it's not, it's simply not possible. And maybe they thought that first they could divide the warrior clans from Star Clan. Then they could divide the clans themselves. And that would be actually a perfect plan for the Dark Forest to return. But there is another possibility. And this comes from a warrior cat saying something. You know what he says? He says he's a kid he's a cat in Thunder Clan. You know what he says? He says that Bramble Star is making Thunder Clan behave like the kin of Darktail. And if you don't know Darktail is, you're kind of missing out. Darktail is the main villain in the Vision of Shadows Warriors season, 
And, well, he was kind of blab villain. Of course he was evil. Of course he was cruel. But he wasn't worse than the Dark Forest cats. But what if this series is making Darktail's name more evil and the character of Darktail even more scary? Maybe Darktail has gone to a place where not even any clan cat, Dark Forest or Star Clan, has gone to. Maybe he has, he has found new skis and a new realm for Rogu's evil rodents who will dwell in after they die. Maybe he is the one who is messing with Star Clan and taking over Bramble Star. And that is my thoughts of the identity of the cat who is controlling Bramble Star and, you know, causing all these problems in this whole series. And of course, it might be a completely different cat. But still, I think that those two are the most likely. And these books were thrilling. And it really scared me, kind of. But I'm, I'm kind of in sixth grade right now, so I'm totally fine with that. But it was absolutely epic. And it I couldn't let go of it. And it was an absolute page turn. And it did make me kind of scared. Like, uh, is my dad being controlled by an evil warrior spirit cat? Spirit cat? Eh, probably not, but still. It's fun to suspect, and it does make the whole book more fun in general. And that's why you should read The Warriors of the Broken Code, and that was it. And great book, a must read, an absolute page turner. And like always, your book quester, Aaron the book quester. Great books, guys, and you wonder, maybe there really is a warrior clan in some random forest somewhere.